NTSB released another final report from this aircraft, October 24th, 2020. Here it is here. It was November 183 Victor in Tishomingo, Oklahoma, a Cirrus SR-22 loss of engine power, four on board, minor injuries. So you can see the aircraft here. The parachute did uh, go off. They did use that cap system, which may have uh, saved their lives. Um, some damage to the aircraft, however. They're trying to make it to this Atoka Municipal Airport. And this is basically what happened. The pilot and three passengers departed on a personal flight in visual conditions. As the airplane approached its destination, altitude about 900 uh, feet above ground level, the pilot received cockpit indications of erratic high engine oil temperatures. About five seconds after that, he moved the throttle to the idle power and adjusted the fuel air mixture. So you can see the, the parachute here, a little bit of it. Fires on scene, probably check them out medically, no injuries. But again, um, some flashing red warnings and chimes are going off in the cockpit due to those erratic uh, oil temperatures. About three seconds after moving the throttle to idle, the pilot advanced into cruise power setting, but the fuel po uh, fuel flow and engine power did not increase. They did a diff additional uh, throttle movements, um, but it did not correspond to engine power. So most likely because the pilot had adjusted the fuel air mixture towards a lean setting, the pilot's uh, response led to engine power loss and then with no um, engine or airspeed they had to deploy the parachute so again here's a good look at the aircraft november 183 victor tail number so this is kind of the post-examination no anomalies that would uh, have precluded normal engine power the oil temperature connector and back shell were damaged i believe that's what's here circled um that's kind of what was happening because of the maintenance this was the first flight after maintenance work in which a crush uh, gasket adjacent to the damaged oil temperature connector was replaced. So this is what was causing those uh, erratic uh, oil temperatures, which caused the pilot to do the adjustments, which what they did. And then this is the pilot's information, if any of you are interested. 379 total hours. And probable cause is the pilot's improper adjustments of the engine mixture control, which resulted in a total loss of engine power. Contributing to the accident was disconnected oil temperature connector, which was likely damaged during maintenance before the accident uh, flight and provided erratic indications during the flight. So multiple things, mechanical issues and then pilot error because of those mechanical issues. But if you like these... Uh, kind of final reports you can let me know in the comments below if not this is our for i'm keone i'll see you guys next time